Let's look at some of these points in a little more detail. Right. Um, let's look at uh, the proportion of product bought by a buyer and see how it affects the uh, buying power, it, how it affects the bargaining power of that uh, buyer. Take an instance where um, you have an industry which consists of suppliers to Hindustan Lever. Now, as you know, Hindustan Lever buys a lot of its products from small companies and then brands them. Right? Now, of course, the manufacture of these products in those small companies is closely monitored by Hindustan Lever and uh, the quality standards are very strictly adhered to. In this event, the power that Hindustan Lever exercises on each one of those firms in that industry is huge because Hindustan Lever buys 100% of their uh, product. This is one situation. Consider another situation. We have a set of uh, companies which uh, produce um, locks, for instance. And these locks are sold through tens of thousands of uh, dealers across the country. Now, each dealer buys a very small percentage of locks made by a company. Now, in this case, that dealer has very little bargaining power over the company because the dealer is buying a small proportion of the product of the company. So, the proportion of product bought by the typical buyer. If the proportion of product is high, the bargaining power of the buyer is high. If the proportion of product is low, the bargaining power of the buyer is low. We have looked at all these issues in the beginning of uh, Force 4, but then now we are looking at some of those issues in more detail. Now let's take the issue of alternate buyers. Um, take the uh, situation of um, Maruti, the car company Maruti uh, buying steel. Right? Now, there are many suppliers of steel who can meet the requirements of Maruti. Because there are many suppliers, bargaining power in this case is with Maruti. On the other hand, take a situation where um, you have a um, wet grinder. A wet grinder which uh, uh, does your grinding of uh, uh, various products in the kitchen. Now, this wet grinder depends on certain kinds of gears which are specific to that grinder and there are few manufacturers of those gears. Here does the uh, buyer that is does the uh, wet grinder manufacturer when he buys the gears does he have much uh, bargaining power? No because there are few alternate suppliers. He probably has to depend upon two or three gear manufacturers. Right? So, you have a situation like steel where there are a large number of suppliers of steel and you have a situation like uh, this uh, gear manufacturing for the wet grinder where you have just one or two who make that product. 
So, if there are a large number of suppliers in the industry, then the power is with the buyer. When we were looking at uh, various factors affecting the fourth uh, force, we looked at uh, switching costs. Let's look at it now in a little more detail. Let's go back to uh, Maruti, right? the car plant. Now, Maruti buys paint from a paint manufacturer. Now, in this case, Paint is made specifically for Maruti and if Maruti has to change the paint manufacturer, Maruti needs to invest probably a couple of years to be able to develop a paint which is suitable for its production. Therefore, here Maruti has very few alternate suppliers and switching costs of Maruti are very high. This is an instance of high switching costs because if Maruti has to change from one supplier to another, Maruti needs to spend an enormous amount of money and time in doing that. Therefore, Maruti does not have much bargaining power with the supplier, which means that the automobile paint industry is an attractive industry to invest in because the typical buyer of the automobile paint industry has low bargaining power. On the other hand, Look at steel. Here, for Maruti to switch from one supplier to another supplier is very easy because all suppliers make largely the same product right? and switching costs are very low. Therefore, the power to bargain is with Maruti in this case. Therefore, in the automobile steel industry, the power to bargain is with the buyer. In the automobile paint industry, the power to bargain is not with the buyer. The automobile paint industry is attractive. The automobile steel industry is not attractive.